I spoke about continually to develop here. As we drive around when we constructed this site, we never had buggy paths. Yeah. The pitch went to the edge. And oh, just did it? A, a dust path, if you like. All right. Yeah. Then goalpost storage. So we yeah, work never with coaches. Yeah. We never have it's a them and us. You have to do this, you have to do that. I'll give you an example. These goals are here for our academy groups. Yeah. But the academy coaches on a Saturday morning will sell their pitches. Yeah. And they'll return the stuff back and they'll okay. have the respect for the grounds team. We'll go yeah. and prepare a pitch for them. Yeah. And then repair it afterwards. Yeah. So there's never that point of you gotta set up, you've got to do this. Yeah. We'll go and do corner flags and stuff like that. Yeah. So sustainability, the building that you can see there on the left, yeah. that's a new media centre oh. with living two with green living walls. All right, fantastic. Uh, not open yet, opens in September. Yeah. But if you see any TV footage with the likes of Clive Allen and stuff pre-match, it'd be on Spurs oh, yeah, stuff, yeah. But, or interviews, it'll all be in that era. Yeah. <clears throat> and the pitch, let me look at the... Foxes. Is it? Yeah, man. So I never. So your grasses is all. It's all rye, isn't it? Yeah. This isn't the. This is probably the unhealthiest bit of rye that you're going to see. Yeah. But that's new going in, so we'll always get that at the beginning. This is our oldest pitch. This yeah. is eight weeks old. All right. From well, about yeah. When where are we now? Well, it looks July, uh, middle of May. So much better than the pitches I've ever played on. So again, we strip this. Um, back end of April and uh, so we'll go through the process we'll take off all the vegetation yeah. 60 to 80 tonne of sand aerated at different size times yeah. to different depths yeah. brushed in um, overseeded fertilised yeah that very good so as your strength so yeah whether we're out with Honda Roses as we are today or yeah. cylinders that all be streamlined. Yeah. Wow. The kitchen garden, mate. This is where all your ingredients come from for the kitchen then, eh? Rosemary, sir. Do they off? Even I can smell that with my bad nose. Yeah, so here we are, kitchen garden. Um, That's brilliant. When we look at the concept of the training centre, the vision on playing surfaces and creating the best playing for surfaces at our level is obviously a given yeah but the chairman's vision um back in as early as 2006 before we even started construction yeah was what can we do where can we lead yeah um and i've been on record before saying it's all about um producing the best and how do we go the next step yeah and as we drive around you'll see various yeah. innovations Bug hotels were one. Yeah, yeah. Um, the kitchen garden's another one. So yeah. a lot of the produce here is herbs, uh, vegetables. Yeah. There's a mini orchard with uh, pears, apples, cherries. Yeah. And then when we come in the kitchen garden, there's all sorts of yeah, yeah. in here that's yeah. a little bit different some yeah, of the stuff definitely, as well. Yeah. So when you think where well, you start off and you're pushing your white line machine around and then suddenly you're in here, who you who could have thought of this? Um, but what I was going to say earlier is, you hear of the wages everyone's getting paid and so much money. So when you said Daniel Levy had his uh, vision, it's great to invest in the club as well and not just players' wages. As a football fan, we all go on about how much a player earns and all the rest of it. Then you can go to certain clubs and they're not, the pitches aren't as good and all the rest of it because they're putting all their money into wages. So it's great to see this because for the community, if I'm a groundsman, I live local, you all want to work for Spurs, don't you, if you're in this local area. That's great, really, isn't it? Uh, absolutely. And, and the key to this as well, and, and with any business, um, you'll have different budgets. Yeah. There'll be a footballing budget. Yeah. And this is an operating budget. Yeah. And we operate the training centre and the stadium within those different areas. Yeah. Um, and this is part of it and part of what we want to do is deliver the best wherever we can. Yeah. And how do we be better? Yeah. You look through the kitchen garden yeah. now. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? We do a lot of lettuce, a lot of cow, yeah. spring onions, asparagus, and tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah. Quite amazing, actually. I'm really impressed. And we do little features as well. So we'll grow the giant pumpkins.
links here. And it all links. We left no space. Yeah. Undeveloped. Uh, okay. Yeah. So when you drive around there, everywhere where there was a triangle of land. Yeah. Undeveloped. Yeah. We've developed it. Yeah. With something meaningful. Yeah. Sustainable. Yeah. And with the environment in yeah. mind. So wildflower to here. Yeah. Maybe one or two relaxation areas. Yeah but all to enhance the experience of being at the training centre. When you, uh, I think you said to me earlier, it's almost like a family and you're getting, you've got a uh, coaching or an academy for the under sevens, I believe. Under eights right? we start. Under eights. So you go up from the under eights, obviously, to the main team. you got women's football, which is coming on amazingly now, isn't it? That's taken off. So you've got all of that here and then you're giving them all of this. It, it's a family, it's, it's something else, isn't it? And it all links. Uh, and, and as I said earlier, we've got a training centre where we've got as many landscape gardeners as we actually have ground staff. Oh, have you? It balances. And how many? 17 gardens? on each. Yeah, all right. When we're full, when we're yeah. not full. So we've got some vacancies. So, uh, so if you like what you see. Job, yeah. Yeah. How um, can you be? Come and get in touch. Yeah, I mean. Um, so we're always, uh, we're looking for good quality staff, of course. Yeah. Um, but. And uh, so when you say. I mean, we have the same thing in the greenkeeping. We've been looking for young staff. Uh, some of the courses I'm at at the moment, I've been lucky. I've got some really good young staff, but we're always wanting... I actually want apprentices between 16 and 18 and not older. I'm finding greenkeeping, I'm getting people coming into this industry at 50. So they've retired as mm. such, luckily enough for them, but they want to do something, so they're coming into greenkeeping which I quite like, but I still want to get the youngsters through. But uh, I've had it at courses where I'm working, where they earn more money, working for Deliveroo, Uber Eats or whatever, and they support their job by doing that. Really, when you've got all this, this should be a great career. You're doing funny. things with apprentices here and you've taken some initiatives with getting people in. I in think the local area. Absolutely. I think you're 100% right. To touch on your first point there. Yeah. Probably earned that in a month in the yeah. city. Yeah. Um, um, but then came through and just enjoyed it. He's now fully yeah. retired. But back to the beginning, we're about to take in a 16 year old fresh from school. He's still yeah. at school. In fact, he'll be finishing now, okay. finishing his exams. Yeah. He starts on the 1st of August. How brilliant. Um, and we'll pay good salary. Yeah. We'll pay London living wage. He's going to come yeah. in and we'll put him through, obviously, the, the, his, two, his two years on MVQ level twos. Yeah. Um, and it's not just that. It's about the coaching and the experience. Yeah. Well, it's going to be brilliant for him, surely. He's he just one. Spurs? Is he into football? Uh, he does support Spurs, but we don't always have Spurs. Yeah. You know, one of the apprentices we've had that's just finished with me, he's gone to Dubai for a year as an intern. All yeah, right. But he's an Arsenal fan, but did yeah. his apprenticeship here. Yeah. Um, and I think in our way of life and in this, it's a... Yeah, it's that. an old it's, adage, yeah. a labour of love. But yeah. you, if you love it, you'll do yeah, it. Yeah, I'll tell you. And when you work in it, you see a different side. Yeah. You know, I've I've come from Arsenal to Tottenham. I've been here yeah. 27 years. I had six great years there. Yeah. Uh, and you see football and yeah. you understand it and you understand the other side. Yeah. You understand what goes into it. Um, and you live it through. And the same with these guys now starting out in their career. The challenge for them now, of, I don't want to stereotype you for today. But yeah. Our way of life would be you come in, you put everything into it, you do all the hours. Yeah. There's a difference now in work life balance. Yeah. And I accept that and understand that. Yeah. And it's not just our industry, it's in all industries. Oh, yeah. We yeah. see it across different departments here, I see it across other glove clubs, and I see it in other industries. Yeah. Uh, and it's a challenge. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But I stand by what I said earlier, this place, whether you're into horticulture, whether you're into gardening, in terms of um, kitchen gardens, whether you're into grounds, whether you're into mechanics, we have a fantastic facility. The stadium and what comes with the stadium and its sliding pitches, yeah, yeah, yeah. the pitch, and everything else that the events to the training center from under eights to international studies. Yeah, yeah. 
No, it's uh, yeah, a dream job for uh, an apprentice, that's for sure. Um, something I would have done when I was a kid. There was nothing like this when I was growing up, that's for sure. No, and uh, likewise. Um, and I guess the, the thing with you for, I, I say you for today, I don't, like I said, I don't want to stereotype them. Everyone wants to get to the next step really quick. Yeah. I did six years at Highbury and that was right. Yeah. Maybe a year too long, but certainly five years was right. Yeah, yeah. I've got people now after two months want to go and do the stadium or they'll want to go and do the yeah. next step. Yeah. Or they'll want to move. It's like, how quick can I get to the top? Yeah. But you can't buy experience as we yeah. spoke about. Yeah, no, I agree. But um, it's like me and green keeping. Um, obviously, I've left Georgie's. I just love green keeping. I don't even care what course I'm at, actually, to be honest. I, and I've said it before, I just want to make that course the best. If you're here, you want to make this the best. That's your passion. That's what we do. Um, and that's so true. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> again, we laughed earlier. The last time I was on a marker was when we looked after Barnet Football Club, when our women's team were playing there. It's the last time I marked out a football pitch. It was not that many years ago. It was about three and yeah. a half years ago. Yeah. I was back on the tools. Yeah. It was at COVID and needs must. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and it didn't matter with respect. It didn't matter whether it was Barnet, Tottenham or Bucca Steel Football Club yeah. where I started. Yeah. It's... It's in the box. That's all it is, yeah. No, totally um, same for you, whether it's George's, whether it's a small yeah. golf course, yeah. the passion won't leave you. Yeah, it doesn't. doesn't. No, if you've got it, if um, if you want to be a green keeper, that's what we're doing. And that's the other thing, when people get to the top of such and they get a bit off his bounds, they actually miss being out doing the job a little bit. And you're um, so right. Um, and that's some of my challenges even now, yeah, yeah. is... I get bogged down, meetings, yeah. meetings, meetings, organisation, uh, and you do miss it. Yeah. I haven't done it this year, but Nick, my level now, sitting on the tractor with a drag brush behind me. Yeah. Nick's my grounds manager. He won't trust me on anything else. You're too inexperienced <laughs> now, Darren. Yeah. You've know passed you by, but I still enjoy getting out there. Yeah. Um, there's times. Funny enough, that happens. Yeah, and you get good staff, and you know what? They're absolutely brilliant with what they do. So if I ain't done it for ages... I'm not taking it over from oh. them because they're going to do it better. You I couldn't, I couldn't get I couldn't get in a car, a car about the neck, that's for sure. Yeah, oh, that was good. Let's go and have a look at yeah. the ladies.